Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now today I'm going to do a little bit of something for, 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 for fun, of course, for fun. Um, I've been collecting up pieces of um, lace. See this one here? Look at this, it's got a nice little um, basket on it and little curly things and a flower. And we've got this sort of one and because it's um, got the high edges around them. See that? I'm really, you know, liking them to the bits. And these, this is a really old piece, of course, with the, it might not have the edge on it, but it's really nice for what I'm, I'm going to do. This one here is a favourite, a very big favourite, because I don't know where I'm going to get some more. <laughs> it's really lo lovely. I love it. Um, and there's a blue sort of one here. It's got a see that look. Look at that edge of that. That isn't that awesome. It's, oh, this one here is nice. These two here are good too. Look, and it's so good. This idea I have. I mean, to put these things in these um, bags have been. A, it's been a really, really good idea. Really good for me. Um, I have a few other things that I've done, but I'm not really keen on the, a few other right. Things I sorted where I put them, but anyway, this is nice. Look at this. Anyhow, <clears throat> and I really like to make my own bits, you know, for, for, for my journals and stuff. I really have a thing about that. Look at that. Only because I really enjoy doing it. I mean, it's not that it's not that it's wrong any other way. It's just the fact that I really enjoy making it bits and pieces for it so today we're going to play with a piece of this because I love it okay now I'll put this into a hoop and I maybe I think I've probably picked out too big a hoop because I just think it's a lot easier to do what I'm going to do <coughs> I'm going to bead it um, now I'll add some beads to it to make it a bit different and then I'm going to cut it out and hopefully I'll have a nice beaded piece. That's what I'm be working towards. And I wish I could have got a smaller hoop, but I didn't look. I didn't look a lot. I didn't look about very much. I must admit I was very slack with that. I just sort. I seen this one hanging up there where I should have put some more smaller ones, and thought, oh dear, I have that one. That'll do today. And then it didn't quite fit, but it's okay. I'm not. I'm not going to be too picky about it because I think it'll work. You don't have to use the hoop. It's only that I think that it makes it a lot easier. Now, I thread it up my needle. Look at this. I've picked out what I'm going to put on it, whether it be... I think I'm going to have these ones here that are sort of like a, a creamy, creamy colour because there's a creamy colour on that. They're nice, those pearly ones too. So, uh, I'll go with the creamy colour ones, eh? Let's put these on. I think these will look good. I really do. I'm just making ourselves a piece of um, applique, aren't we? Make ourselves a piece of applique. <clears throat> now I could probably work on this one over here because it's... Um, maybe I could move that. Maybe I'll move it. Okay. So these hoops are really good and I do have a few, but like I said today, I'm not... I'm going to put that one in there, eh? I'll move that one, that's better. See, I didn't, I was in a hurry and I thought I'll just put this in here smartly, but just put it in there and do it up tight. Now, this is a tiny bit, I don't want it to be distorted. I could do two, oh, there goes the quarter. <laughs> I meant, the quarter off the camera just fell down. Put a bit of tape on it. It's, you stay around there, that's the way now. Okay, so we've got a needle and thread, bead needle. It'd be a size 10 and 13. You get size 10 and 13 in the packet, okay? I'm just getting some glue off myself here. Now, I'm going to take them around the outside first, see how that looks. So, what I'm going to do is <coughs> not put on one at a time, okay? You're going to put on a few, I don't know. And if you do it on something felt, it's a good idea because then you can nearly pick them up and it won't get away from you. 
I just collect them up. It depends on what you're making, how many you need on here, see? Because you're going to pull them down onto it, to the thread, and you're going to put them around like this and see how long they are. And I reckon I could nearly, uh, I don't know. See, I want to do it so it's long enough to go round, loop around both those things. I think that's what I'm after. Let's see how we go. So we need as many as we can fit on. Oh, well, as <laughs> many as we can fit on. We need to put on a fair few, okay. And it comes to there. Maybe we can do that. Okay, so we're going to go back down in that bit, okay. So they'll come to there. So what you need to do is go back up along here, pick up your piece of... So make sure you've got that bit. And by that bit I mean a piece of the lace. And then you want to put the bead, pull it over by going in between two of the beads. Okay. This way you can do it without um, Sorry, <laughs> big breath there, eh? you saw it. Now I know that they're a bit wobbly there, but we're going to go back. We're going to go back through too. We're not going to just put, you have to, it, it takes a tiny bit of um, bits to do it, you know, you got to. Now what I'm doing, instead of um, just, I'm aiming under there with a needle into the piece. I'm coming underneath that and going into the piece that's thicker than the rest. There's a trim around there, see, and it's, I'm going into that, I hope, the edge. Now, going around the corners is a bit tricky because this one is sort of working okay, but this bit along here, but going around the corners is a bit tricky. You want to bring it back under there so it's going to be hidden. Now I'm going to go back up through these beads. Just go back through where you haven't sort of caught on it yet. Around the corner. Okay, right, sure, we well, need a minute, one more, one more bead, I might not even catch it, now I'll get it, go back and get it in a minute, there you go, got it. Now if you do one at a time, if you put your bead on one at a time, it'll make it very um, higgledy-piggledy sort of thing, you know, so you want to make sure that you do it this way, and that way you're going to get it nice, smooth, um, shape to it okay it won't they won't be all over the place because they're really hard it's really hard to put beads down in a part um you know so they'll go like that very hard to, to put them down without threading them all on through first so let's now put another now i'm trying to keep on the inside of this little piece here see that there I want to keep on the inside of that because later I'm going to cut into this round here. Right -o. I'm going to cut that off. Right. Hopefully. <laughs> the plan. That's the plan. Now you could do this on fabric too as well as lace and cover your um, flowers or whatever you want to do. You know, you can do it with what well, I showed you with um, embroidery. With 
needle and thread so I can so but this way I think it's really nice you do not have to cut this off here so you will make it in something that just needed beading a bit if you had something like this piece this long bit on the long piece I would just you know leave it on there just put you know if you wanted to bead say three, a couple of panels like that you know you just do the just bead those there and leave it don't actually cut around it this would be okay to cut around only it has a stem so be up to you what you, bits you sew in for, for how it's going to look so let's get some more beads whoops so your needle does get caught sometimes on the felt and flicks everything flying so <laughs> don't panic about that but you need some sort of thing underneath I've just got one of those ironing this is an ironing pressing board that you get for for, for um, patchwork but it's the best thing for embroidery too <laughs> as well now I'll probably come down there with too many I have to take off one or two what do you reckon yes we're going back we'll take off two <laughs> So to do that, I'll just go back up through two beads. I could pull them off, but I'll just say back up through two and they'll come back off, okay? So now I'm going to put that down over here. Like so. Is that enough? Yeah, I think so. That's right. That's good. So I'm going to start up back up here. Oh no, I'll start down here to fasten them down. Might be a tiny bit long. No, no, it's not. It will be just right, I think. And if your beads are too wrong, well, you can always move. And don't go too far before you decide you might have to take that undone because it's too big, on you. because that's what I, I've, I'm looking at that idea now. I'm thinking, now that's probably too long, is it? And when I pull that over, I have to come back here and make sure that, that comes over there straight so my beads aren't all puckering up. See there? I'm going to make sure that's right. Now, if you've got lots of time and you're really, in, in, you know, you could do the whole thing. You could bead the whole thing if you wanted to. But I think, in a way, that would probably be defeating the purpose because, you see, you wouldn't be able to then see what... Um, make sure this comes up straight. It goes down straight in between the beads so they're not pulling out of place. And they do pull out of place a little bit, but then when we come back around through there, like I did with the other one, thread back around through it, it should be okay. Hopefully it'll hang on to it properly. So go right back in there and make it. And if this one here next to me seems to be moving a bit, I might have to go back over there and re fasten it down a bit better. All right, so now I'm going to come up through the end bit here. And go around through with this. Like this. And keep going around here. It's alright, nobody panic, I'll get there one day. <laughs> Patience. You see, you think you're waiting for ages, but if you looked at the clock, it probably wouldn't even been half a minute. <laughs> it's taken me to get through it. But when you're watching something and waiting for it to get along, it does take a while. It looks, seems like it takes forever. I still didn't get the last one, so I'll pick him up in a minute. You use beads for everything. You don't just have to do beading with it, like, I mean, jewellery or stuff. But yeah, it's good for sewing. They're good for putting on sewing and things. I'm hoping that's not too big. Might be, I'm, I'm a bit worried this might be a bit too baggy. I might need to take another bead out. It's too late now, isn't it, Sonia? I told you to do that before. <laughs> All right. Now if I go along here and I sew down between nearly every one, that'll keep it safe. That'll stop it from moving about. You 
you just got to be patient with these things because they're worth it in the long run. You don't, you shouldn't make it like it's really terrorising you. <laughs> you should, should be going along there having really good fun instead of making it like it's you're scared. If your body's tensing up, you probably should put it down. <laughs> I do find sometimes that that does happen to me. If I'm trying to do something. It doesn't seem like it's working properly. I have to put it down. I think that was too far over that but that stitch. Look, you can see it. So I'm bringing it back out. So if you see anything wrong, just take it out, okay? It would be a good idea if I thread the right end of the needle too. That would be good. Oh, right. When I threaded it off camera, it went straight through there. <laughs> That's why I did it before I come on here because I thought so I wouldn't have to put you through this trying to find the hole. I'm going to put the, <laughs> the thread through. Come on. Down in there. It's not bothering, it's not doing it. It's just not working for me. Gotcha. <clears throat> okay, now, make sure you go right back in under there so you haven't got a great big stitch. You don't want to see your stitches. You want that to go down in there. Nicely. I know. Back under there, so it comes out near that bit. Righty-o. We got that tiny little bit you whiff, but that doesn't matter, it's fine. So we only need to start here for this one. I'm not too put off by it yet. <laughs> I feel like throwing it in the bin or turning it off, so we're going to keep going. Because I think it's going to be nice. That's what I think. It'll be worthwhile doing. Catch you. Oops. Some people have these spinning round things that they catch their beads on. I know they do that for, for bead knitting. I know they do that in their bead knitting. do love bead knitting. Myself. I was thinking about doing a bit of that. So that's going to go down to there, okay? I'm going to take the last one off, I think. What do you reckon? You lay it down. Push them up there. I think it, might work. it needs to come down a tiny bit, but not very far. Actually, I might leave it. I might leave that one. Because the next one starts up here, okay? Because you only, want, you only need to do... <coughs> bit come up through there go down through there whoops if it doesn't go down straight it'll pull your bead over sideways and you don't want that you know, it's a bit sideways beads there you go through there very good that one's sitting pretty good isn't it I know this will make the edge of the um, the thing you're doing pretty heavy, but that's because it's made, there's a glass. There's a piece of glass, so it'll be a little bit heavy, but it won't be too, that bad. It won't be that bad. Now I'm liking that. Now, of course, this is back up here. You've got to come back up here and thread these ones on because you want it to go around 
you know, so that bit just dips in like this bit did, okay? You get me? Right, good. So let's go and get some more beads. Just check it to see if I'm still on the picture here. I didn't want to be out of the frame. I think these are made out of glass, aren't they? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, they look pretty good anyway, whatever they are. So we want to take that round up around here. And another thing too I've, I'm noticing is the beads aren't all the same shape. And that's fine. If you want to get them all the same shape, actually, I'd, maybe because these are not expensive, and it doesn't really matter if they're... But and it's going to work. I mean, it's, we can't be... Oh, hang on, I might have to... I've got way too many now, haven't I? Oh, no, that might do. Let's see how that goes. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing because of the colours. It's not very colourful, is it? I need to push them up there. Move that over there. I think I've got too many beads on it this time. Maybe one. Maybe one too many this time. Let's go back through one and take him off. Okay, so we go down in this part here. Now. <clears throat> Come up here. I used to be able to do stuff while I was watching TV once. I can't anymore. I think I told you that. I don't know how many things. Well, I didn't have a choice back in them days. It was I didn't have a sewing room. And I could just do whatever was going on, you know. I didn't have to worry about background noise or anything because I didn't... <laughs> probably didn't take any notice, I suppose. So how many things I used to say, oh, we've seen, I haven't seen that. And the family would go, yeah, Mum, you weren't watching. <laughs> you were busy doing so on. <laughs> right. So I did miss a couple of things, but that doesn't matter. It wouldn't be anything bad. <laughs> anything too over exciting, I suppose. And now I can't concentrate on, on doing it now. Which is a bit of a shame because I'd like to get more done, but then I'd like to have a bunch of good story sometimes too. I used to read a lot when I was young. Tried it not long ago. It doesn't work for me. It's just to do with crafting. <laughs> I can read a read a book it's to do with crafting, but story books I'm not a big fan now because I'm not getting any. I did, oh well, I don't know why, I'd rather watch it on the TV. I was trying to read a book there the other night. It was just absolutely full of descriptive words. It's all like, I didn't read it all, but started out and it just was just, oh, too many descriptive words. I like to be able to leave something to my imagination. You know, <laughs> it was just really, really... Oh. I couldn't read it. I couldn't read it. It was too much, too much. I like something that's to the point. <laughs> it's just to the point of when I was, you know, they've got to have some sort of descriptive words, I suppose, because you've got to have, um, you know, so you can set the scene, but it was just way over the top, this thing. It was ridiculous. I suppose some people like that sort of thing. We're all different. So we don't all necessarily like the same things, but now I think I went back up through there, didn't I? Well, that's a bit skew whiff, isn't it? What have I got here? Let me see if I can straighten this out. I might not have went over enough times because you do have to do that, don't you? This bit here seems to have been sitting up in the air for some reason. These beads. Just put them down, Sonia. There we go. I might, might not have took out enough, you know. Oh, 
I go up back through there. If I haven't done it, which I don't know if I did, I can't remember now. I was too busy talking. Okay. So that's straight. Now, I'm go around here. Come on. Might have thread too much thread through the needle. Doesn't want to go through the hole. Mm -hmm. Straighten it up a bit. There you go. Bit of patience. Doesn't take much. How do you think that looks? Okay. You reckon that's okay? Put that down again. Okay, I think that's looking good, don't you? Can you see? There you go. I'm going to just end this off in here because I'm going to do a bit in the middle. I'll end this bit off and do a bit in the middle. So you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. <laughs> People will say, I'd like to see that finish, Sonia. <laughs> I hope I do too. <laughs> I hope I do finish. So it finished as well. Not that much work in it. It's just I might have to have a look at mouth for water. And find myself a tissue. <sighs> My allergies ain't doing me any favours. And the cat screaming. bought some lights they're supposed to be um, you know they're supposed to work by the sun they've been hanging in this window for years and I don't think they've ever lit up yet <laughs> so there you go solar generator they're supposed to be I don't know how it's, the man said oh, he said you just put them in the sun You're supposed to put them in your garden I think but I hung a couple on the on the curtain in here. It didn't do, do me any good at all. I think Jeremy might be having a bit of trouble with a cat. Oops. I like these colours that are in here and I don't know, maybe I've got some beads the same. Would I put a colour in it? Or will I just put these pearly ones around? I have these old, old, old beads here. These old, old pearly beads. I've got to go and get my fingernails redone. Really Look how far they've grown. Look at that. But anyway, it's okay. I've got Mother's Day, birthday, and anniversary presents, so I'm good for that. Okay, so let's see if these would work. They're very old beads. Mm, what do you reckon? Do you think they look alright in the middle? I don't know. Should be able to use them for something. Eh? These are really heavy. Could be real. Some sort of pearly, pearly, really old pearl. That might look alright. That might look, just look alright. Now we've got to thread this needle again. Anyway, we can do it. We have the ability, we can do it. So I might put those in that. Yeah, that'll look good. Thread it. Thank you everybody for your lovely comments. I really appreciate that. Everything is say about what I do and that. It's really nice, obvious. Um, I do a variety of things because I really enjoy doing a variety of different things. I wonder if they're all the same size. To me, that one there looks a bit smaller. So you just need to get out the tiny ones, Sonia. 
smaller ones. That one's not right. That looks bigger. These are smaller, smaller. So I've got three, I think. I don't think there's much difference in the size, but I can see it. I can see the difference. Only just. That, why would they do that to me? <laughs> I suppose the, bead, the, the thing that necklace that it came off to, had to have a graduation of sizes, didn't it? So therefore... I think I might have enough there. A piece of cotton swinging off my sleeve here. <clears throat> okay, so let's do this. So on each one of these white spots, I'm going to put a bead. So I come through, put a piece, of, put a knot in, and make sure that you're not going to come through the hole in your lace because sometimes you, if your lace is too holy, it will come through. So I've got one here. Now this is going to be interesting. It will fit through. Only just though. Let me put that one down. Why have I got a piece of thread through here? A bit extra. Something from something else, is it? Cotton from the other, uh, last thing I was doing. Now I'm hooked myself up here. What's this from? Oh. From the last piece I was making. Where's that? Is it out now? No. Nope. I wonder if this is off the thing itself. Okay, I got it. Remember the bit I just pulled out? I didn't, I left that bit in there, I didn't pull it out too, I think. Goodness me. Got you now, I think. Okay, now we're going to put this one down. So these I'm not going to string together because I'm going to just have them around on each one of these little white spots. Okay, so I'm going to do it twice. I'm going to go through this bead twice. And because they've got a very small hole in them, I don't believe that thing's still up there. I thought I got it. I'm going to cut it off. <laughs> I don't know what it's part of, but it's going. <laughs> anyway, and then go back down in there. And the next one goes in here. Because I didn't really want them joined together. A little tiny bead. Well, the smallest of the beads, if I can find the hole. Come here. There one. Looking forward to summertime. Heading to the pool. I'm heading to the pool in the summertime this year. I'm going to go. I didn't go last year because of the COVID or the year before, but for the same reason. We had to, well, still being careful, but I still want to go swimming because I need to, to do that. If you go there and you get in the pool and you go in the really deep part and you just stand up in the deep part, you're not on the ground of course, you just float and you just let your body, your legs hang down it pulls down at your spine a bit, or your back and it'll stop your soreness, <laughs> it'll help your soreness gee that didn't go on there very good because I think it's very tight that, um, I wonder what's happening with that Everything's getting caught up here and it's not not making me happy at all. Come on. Sometimes when things don't work for you, you're supposed to back away from them, but I'm not going to. I'm sorry I can't, you couldn't see what I'm doing, but I was trying to get that not to be sitting up there like it is. <laughs> it's, just, it's upsetting me. And for some reason, I can't get the 
pull it down. Anyway, we'll keep continuing on. If it looks too bad after a while, I'll have to redo that one. Take him out and redo him. I know that they're not the hole's not very big in these. And you can't really put through too much thread. Oh goodness gracious me, come on. I can't see it. I'd pick trust me to pick this. Got him. The needle only just fits through itself there. That one worked all right. I'll have to go see if I can put the thread through that one again. I don't think I can though. Now just make sure you come up from the back and go down. Go through your bead and then go down to the front, okay? Easy. That's how you put beads on. This one's really tight too, so hopefully it won't start mucking about on me. Okay. Now, these you can use on anything. You can make yourself a nice brooch out of it if you wanted to. You could put it onto a thing and make a brooch. Because... Come on, you can come through there. Get the pliers. When all else fails, grab the pliers. There you go, look. <laughs> Carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise you'll break your needle, okay? And that won't make you happy. All right, so I wanted to go through there twice, and I did. And got that. Is that on there properly? Yeah. Well, I think that's looking really good, don't you? I do think I like that very much. So. Yeah, so I can make a brooch out of this. You could put it onto your um, pocket in your journal or somewhere. Put it on a pocket. It's a lot of work, I like to put on that sort of thing. But you know, if you enjoy doing the work in these things, you know. So, and I do. I, I've tried to think about putting scrapbooking paper in a lot of them, but I and I can do a bit, but I can't do the whole book with it. You know, just I want to put my own bit pieces in there, you know, what I do. I want to do it myself. Because that's, what, that's the part of making them the, the journal. That's a fun bit. You're either going to watch me break this any minute now or get caught and stick it in myself or something. Something untoward's going to happen, but I don't think that's going to, going to go through there. It does not want to take all that through there. Let me see, what have I got here? Right. Try again, Sonia. No, it's not going to let me get, not going to let me sew it in there twice. It's only going to go once, so that's all right. We're not going to panic. We're going <laughs> to, when nobody panic, please come on, come back out. <laughs> Use it back out now. Goodness gracious. There we go. Got it. <coughs> mm. That's only going to do it once. He won't let you hold it down twice. It's not going to. Radio. So maybe we could do a bit of a. Um, if I could find myself some spray, some fray stop, because I've been trying to find some. I'd be, I'd be inclined to put a little bit behind. Which one's that there? To put a little bit behind here. And that way, it might just be the idea to, to hold the beads because the beads are not, um, you know, just put a little bit on there, or a little bit, of, a little bit of glue, uh, you know. But I don't, I don't think it's going to come off. It's just, you know, I just sort of think that if you're going to make something out of it, and this, and this is not holding them down very tight. I can't go back around through them because I can't get the needle through because the hole's too small. And that's the thing. Even if it's because this is a bead needle, it doesn't mean it's going to be able to bead every, every one. Does it? And that only just fits through there. And anyway, still is good fun, you know. You don't have to stress. It's still nice to do it. Look at this. this is, look at my cotton's doing. 
or breaking up on me. I wonder if I can get it through here now without... Ah, oh, there, that's the end of that. Oh, yeah, I got it through. But we're going to have to... Buzz us. I wonder if it was making that not white wouldn't go through. I don't know. Come all unfrizzled. Unfrayed. Untethered, Jeremy says. <laughs> Things come untethered. I'm undone. Still, still, still got enough to do that bead. I didn't have to take it off there. It was still sewn down. Here we go. You sit straight, you rotter. Sit straight. There we go. Now, another small one. There we go. Right. So I think this is a good idea. I like it. Doesn't seem to be very round though, does it? This middle piece. Ah, well, we're going to work on that. We're going to see what we can do about it. I could have been missing it. That was fraying, so I'm going to go and see what I can do about that. Let's see if it'll thread through. <laughs> see if I can get to go it to go on a bit better. The, the beads. So don't you do what I'm doing and get these tiny little beads with a tiny little hole in them, because otherwise it'll stress you out for them. It's a decent size hole. <laughs> So you can put them on. I just wanted to use these. I had these since forever. But two more to go, and then the centre will be done. I was going to. I don't know how many times I was thinking about throwing them out, and I thought, I oh, don't know, they they might be handy for something. Yeah, I suppose you know they got a lot of stuff in in them too. You know, like. Oh. Say stuff because they're old. Got a bit of dust, <laughs> bit of dust in them. Somebody surely got their wear from them. Whoever had them, I found them somewhere in a sale one time. Might have been a garage sale or something, an auction. Wish they still had those. Oh dear, we used to go to some good auctions here once, and they had garage sales and. We don't anymore. It's okay. I mean, because we go, things go to can cyst, but I just love the fun of going to an auction. <laughs> Try not to bid on things. <laughs> oh, you know, I mean, I'm not that bad. I mean, can't take Jeremy. He won't have to hunt him outside if you see something he wants. <laughs> and I do the bidding, but that was a long time ago. I mean, you know, we've been for years. <sighs> long time. Used to have them all the time here once. But I guess it's all good because the stuff now always goes to the cancer found place, you know, so it's all good. Let's hope. I got some really good things once, you know. They used to auction all the stuff. They, the can assist used to auction all the furniture off when they had to close. They had to get out of the pavilion or the place they were in because of the show. And I've got some really good bargains there. You didn't even... You know, there was really good um, pieces I got at that time. <sighs> Paid $5 for a $500 chair. And it is worth that much because it's one of the um, disabled ones. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I thought that looks really good. I'm going to let you go now, okay? I hope you've enjoyed doing that and I hope you have a go. Try and see if you can bling up your bling up your lace. I suppose we can call that bling up your lace. Okay, right now, um, yeah. So if you just wanted to leave me a comment, that's nice because I love to hear what you say. And um, if you've got, if you want to get, go on my channel, just put a notification thing up there so press the little bell and then if you want to, to ring when you want to me to when you want to see what I've been making you can do that I'll leave those there because they've got to finish going around there but anyway so thank you for watching and thank you very much for your subscribing and your comments and everybody look after yourselves and one another and I'll talk to you later okay bye bye